Okay, so today's video is about silver plating using spent fixative. So when you develop a film, usually, when you um, put the film or the paper into the fixative, all of that silver remains in the fixative, and if you pour that fixative down the drain, then the silver goes into the drains and ultimately into oceans and rivers. So that's not very good for fish and aquatic organisms. So what we're trying to do today is to recycle that silver and coat daguerreotypes. So I'm using um, Charlotte Padgham's recipe, which she put in the sustainable dark room uh, zine, which was made last year. And um, she also gave me a workshop this morning, which means that um, I was able to see exactly how she does it and to kind of replicate it for this video. So she's a jewellery artist and she uses the silver plating to coat jewellery and I'm planning to use this for um, making daguerreotypes with Brenton West. So I'm really excited to see how this goes and I'm going to get my partner Sam Bartle who's also known as Look Mum the Computer and he's going to help me with the electronic side of things and explain a little bit about the circuit. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and start doing that. Positive terminal of the battery is going through the potentiometer. I've just got a 47k potentiometer because I couldn't find one. It's going into the multimeter, which is uh, giving us the reading. And it's bouncing around like crazy. It's at four at the minute. It uh, doesn't matter. It's fine. And now that's coming out of there into the graphite pen. And then the graphite and then the other, the cathode, is it? Yeah, the cathode is the copper plate that's going into the negative terminal of the battery. Okay, so this has now been cooking for about 25 minutes. I'm going to disconnect the circuit now. So I'm going to turn this two off. And then I'm going to unplug one of the um, battery cables. It should be easy enough. So that's disconnected now. So now I'm going to pour the fixer back into the fixer bottle and do this quite carefully um, so I don't spill any on the table and do this away from the battery as well. My graphite stick fell in, so I'm just going to let it go in just to get the rest out and then I'll put it back in there for washing. So last week we used fixative and tried to get the silver out of the fixative um, onto a copper plate using the electrolysis process. Um, and today we're going to try and do the same but with a lower ampage. So last week it was 5 milliamps, today it's going to be 3 milliamps and um, we found that the five milliamps didn't actually coat the copper plate. It was probably too high and it tarnished really quickly. Um, so today we're gonna try three milliamps and see how that goes. Um, one thing to bear in mind and to be really careful of is that this process releases hydrogen sulfide gas. So in low quantities and outdoors it's fine, but in high quantities and inside it's not very good. You need to make sure that you have really good ventilation and or a vapor mask. The lower ampage you use, so on three milliamps, you won't release very much gas. But when we were doing it at five milliamps last week, the gas was quite stinky and um, obviously not too dangerous because we're outside, but um, to have as little gas as sulfurous gas as possible is probably the best thing to do. So we're going to set up the exact same experiment but on 3 milliamps instead of 5. So we'll do that now. So we've just tried this for the third time. This time we filed the graphite and the copper down um, just in case they had a little bit of a coating on them because last time it just seemed to slide off. So now I'm going to unveil it and see how it's worked. Okay so I've just taken it out and it does seem to have worked much better this time. Um, and I'm just going to leave it there just to dry for a little bit um, I'll just try and show it to the camera so you can see it's got this kind of shiny um, patina on it last time I moved it with my fingertip and it kind of 
went away like condensation but it seems a bit better this time so I'm just gonna lay it down and leave it to dry in the sun. I just wanted to summarize what I did on today's session so I filed the copper and the graphite stick um, before I used them uh, which means that there wasn't any substance on the copper stopping the um, silver from connecting to it and I left it to dry after the experiment um, so I tried not to disturb the coating on top and that seems to have worked quite well. It was a sunny day and it was quite dry so it happened quite quickly. I then washed it in warm water and bicarbonate of soda which I use for making developer um, and that is because Charlotte said it should help to stop the tarnishing. Um, I also used a consistent current so um, instead of using the battery like Charlotte did I used a power supply from my partner who has a lot of um, electronic things. <laughs> I also made sure I was well ventilated at all times when doing the um, experiment with the fixative. Hydrogen sulfide gas is not to be taken lightly so I always made sure to not even be standing by the fixative when it was happening. I watched from inside with the windows closed. And if I had to do this again and it was inside or less ventilated, then I'd be wearing my vapour mask. I also coated it for 30 minutes rather than 60 minutes that I did in the last two sessions. And that seems to have worked quite well. What I might do in the next session is to double coat it. So do two sessions, one after the other, and let it dry between each section. So that is what seems to have worked so far and um, obviously it's not brilliant results just yet, I couldn't make a daguerreotype on it but I'm on the way to doing it and I think it's been an interesting month trying to figure it out. So I just wanted to say thank you very much to Charlotte, all of her amazing wisdom on showing me how to do this and um, I'm really grateful that I've been able to try it um, and yeah, look forward to seeing how the rest of the project develops. Origin of Silver is a project that's going to be happening for about a year so you can find out more by following this YouTube and also joining my Patreon where I'll be releasing different kinds of information on a more regular basis. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you can try it and try it quite safely. Um, thanks very much and I'll see you next month.